Hey folks, this is Gerard's Horticulture Culture. Today we're talking about the string of hearts or the rosary vine. The rosary vine is a native to South Africa. So one, it likes bright indirect light or you could give it bright light. It likes both. You don't want to give it low light. It can't survive because once again, it's in Africa. It needs tons of light. So if you have a bright, sunny south facing window or an east facing window, that'll be great for it. I don't think it will survive in a north facing window, but you can try it. It all depends on the species, but I wouldn't recommend it. Next, the soil. It needs a fast draining soil. So give it perlite and with a succulent cactus mix because it doesn't like water retention so if you water it make sure you water it thoroughly and make sure the soil dries out in between it is susceptible to aphids mealybugs and hopefully if you're not saturating the water and keeping it wet fungus gnats the string of hearts can get at least 12 foot long it can get huge in the wild and if you let it grow, you can actually take cuttings. It takes well to water propagation. That's what I did with mine. I actually propagated and waited for the roots to get at least one to two inches, and then I set it in soil. This is a popular plant. It's not a succulent, but it does store water in its leaves, so you wanna make sure you back off on the watering because it already has a reserve of water. One major thing about the lighting, you wanna make sure it gets sunlight on the top of the container and in the surface area where the soil is and on the vines, you wanna make sure it gets top and the sides. Like with string of bananas and string of pearls, same way, make sure you get bright light on the top of the soil. Don't just get the vines that hang down. That's just a few tips about this beautiful plant. Guys, if you have any comments or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and keep growing.